Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I Ooh, somebody is broken hearted. Oh, this person is in so much regret. Um, they turn the, there's somebody here who turned their back on you, possibly put you in a third party in the past. They broke your heart. Okay. Um, they could have chosen other people over you, um, and, uh, turn their back on you, kind of sacrificed you maybe in a third party. They're in a whole lot of regret for this now. Um, you could be dealing with uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person, there's other people who knew about what they did to you. Okay? I'll tell you that right now. Um, this is somebody who, I feel like in the past, you were dealing with somebody who maybe was easily, like they would get jealous easily. Or they could have been very possessive. I'm feeling a possessiveness off of this person. Um, maybe even controlling, okay? This is somebody, though, who kind of treated you like a possession, but yet at the same time, they got to do whatever they wanted to do, okay? This person could have been keeping some secrets from you in the past as well, because I'm seeing them doing maybe even some shady, sneaky things and not telling you about it, okay? Not being fully honest with you about things, okay? Um, it just feels like this person was very selfish, like they, they, um, they were concerned only about them and what they wanted and their fun at the time, but they, they really, um, I feel like this person kind of had their thumb on you, you know, kind of controlling, possessive, I don't know. There's people who are literally giving this person a tower moment, yeah. Um, there's a group of people, it could be family, it could be friends, that are kind of going after this person, okay? Kind of attacking this person because of what they did to you. They could be getting thrown out of a family, a family group or a friend group because of this, okay? They could be getting, um, like say they live with a group of people, they could be getting um, kicked out of that home even. Okay, yeah, I feel like there's a whole group of people going up against this person. Yeah, because they've been, these people could have been your haters in the past, but they've been watching you, Collective. Um, they're seeing how confident and strong you are. They're seeing how wise you are. Um, they're seeing, uh, you, could, you could be in the public eye. You could have a platform, like do something on the internet. They're watching you. They're watching you grow. They're watching you transform. They're watching um, your skills and your abilities. They're watching you accomplish great things. And they're seeing you now as a symbol of strength. Um, so there's haters. I feel like th these people um, could have gone up against you with this person from your past, you know. But I feel like now they're seeing that... Um, there's a problem with this person, okay? Because here's the thing, you're doing better without this person in your life. So they're figuring it out. They're figuring it out that this person, they had to have been a big problem for you. Or these could be people that witnessed this person treat you really bad. Or they knew what this person did to you, okay? They broke your heart, they betrayed you. They could have walked all over you. All right. Yeah, and they're pressuring this masculine to come in and apologize. You know, these there could be people, too, that are adding up how much money you make from whatever platform or I don't know what you're doing online. Whatever job you have, it's probably something on the Internet where a lot of people can see you, okay? So you, you could be working on some kind of special project. This could be a side project. I don't know. But I feel like you're, it's making you very abundant. It's opening new opportunities for you for sure. And it's put you on a pedestal in the public eye. 
So yeah, people are trying to maybe look at how much money you make from this thing. They could be telling this person, you know, pressuring them when you were with them, they had their life together and now their life is a flipping mess. Now that they, they pushed you away, they're, ever since they pushed you away, their life has turned to crap, I feel, with this tower moment. That's like things crumbling around this person because they may need to rebuild. Okay, they built it on a fake foundation. So people are telling this person um, that they had the, the best opportunity, like the opportunity of a lifetime with you. They could be calling this person a fool, calling them names, fighting with them, okay? Um, so, yeah, they're pressuring this person to talk. So I feel like they're kind of trying to figure out what they're going to say to you. They're tapping on this blade here. Like, what am I going to say? Hmm. You know, they could even be getting some advice from other people as to what to say. Yeah, thank you. They are um, talking to others. So it's. I feel like they're... They're listening to this other group, right, who's defending you, who's telling this person they need to come in and make it right. I feel like they're calling them crazy. Are you crazy for turning your back on the collective? This was wish fulfillment. Your, your life could be beautiful right now. Do you know how much money the collective is making? Can you see the collective out in the public eye? Are you crazy? That's what they're telling this person. So... I feel like your haters are now defending you, okay? They know that you made this life, this person's life beautiful, and they know that you come with these Ten of Cups, and and you could um, make their life beautiful again. So they're telling this they're telling this person to come back in and apologize, and they're telling them what to say, okay? Yeah, I feel like they're um, they're making this person feel like a complete fool. Yeah, and everybody is like just badgering this person is really what I'm feeling like because they don't want to confront you after what they've done. This person, I feel like they're afraid to confront you after what they've done. They're afraid to look you in the eye and give you some kind of explanation as to why they had to hurt you and betray you. There's no explanation for that. This person's going to have to kind of grovel, right? And they haven't been wanting to do that. This is somebody who hasn't wanted to confront. But these people, these all these wands here, that's these people here. Like not letting this person get out of it. Okay? They're not letting this person get out of apologizing to you. All right. And I mean, they could be looking at your success, really. Like, do you know how successful the collective is? You got to get in there and, and apologize. They could be sending this person to apologize to you for all the wrong reasons now. Okay. Because I'm not, I mean, I'm seeing a, a fake, like an empty apology in their hand. I'm not really seeing them. Well, they are in a whole lot of regret, and you are everything. But I, I feel like this family group, they were kind of shady to you before. I feel like they mistreated you before. They didn't think it many great things about you. I feel like these people are haters. Could be a nasty kind of family that was sort of always sort of against you, you know. Um, and now they're seeing you, though, in all of this abundance right? It's standing in your power, all of the success, being in the public eye. I kind of feel like these people are still like clout chasers. They're still um, opportunists. Even though they're defending you and pressuring this person to apologize, they're doing it for the wrong reasons. They're only wanting this person to get back together with you so these people can use you for what you've got. Okay, this masculine, yes, they're in a lot of regret. But what, for what reasons? Like, what are their motives here? It looks to me like this person has some pretty bad motives. Okay, but the people that they're hanging with have even worse motives than them. 
you know, they would jump on the chance to take advantage of you. At least this person is afraid to confront you. You know what I mean? But they're coming in. They're coming in slow. And boy, are they nervous. <laughs> okay? Um, they're guarding themselves with that pentacle. Okay? They're using it as like um, a shield. Right? They're moving really slow because this isn't what they wanted to do. This makes them feel kind of weak in the knees. Coming and facing you, the one that they betrayed. The one who's doing better than them. You're probably doing better than all of these people. Okay? Yeah, this person is nearly broke. But this is them being shaky, right? Remember I said they're shaking at the knees? This is them being shaky. That's that shaky energy, that fear, right? That, um, I don't know, they are shaking at the knees, though. Yeah, see, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they're, the, all these people are really attracted to your success, okay? I'm getting the sense that this person is fearful, they're, they're afraid of what you're going to say, okay? Because I saw this card, and then I saw the um, Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. To me, that's Ten Swords. You have the power to reject this person. And if you reject them, they're going to be in a lot of pain, and this family or friend group is going to, they're going to be, they're never going to let this person live it down. See, I feel like they're worried also about what this family and friend group are going to say to them. They'll turn their back on this person because they made a bad decision. You know, they'll turn this back, their back on this person if they can't get you back. These aren't even good friends and family to this person. You know, so they're really scared because you do have the power to say no. And that may be what you'll do, because right now, you already have everything just for you. You're in the Ten of Cups, and you've got nine pentacles here. Um, the most you can have in the deck is ten. Okay? And the only pentacle you don't have stands for um, a commitment, someone who's going to be dedicated to you. Okay? That's the only thing you don't have. You're single. You're happy, living a beautiful life with everything. Success, abundance, a great job, you got your money right, you've transformed, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're driven, motivated, successful, happy. You could have recently bought a new home or moved. You could have recently moved, you know. So you're already good all on your own. This is the kind of life that everyone dreams of having. And you've accomplished this all on your own with the guidance of the divine. And now these people who were nasty to you in the past, they want to come in here and share your wealth and abundance? That's kind of what they want. That's kind of what they want. And this person is really hoping that you accept their offer because if you do... If you do, they can have the Ten of Pentacles with you. They can have the Ten of Cups with you. But here's the thing. This is yours. You built this. You built this. Even if you have an extra 20 bucks, you have more than this person, and that 20 bucks is yours, not theirs. It's not to divvy up between them and, and this, this nasty family or friend group, okay? So that's what these people want. They want this. All right? They want this. Is your person in a lot of regret? Yes, they are. Yes. But their, motiv their motives are shady at best. Okay? So you are about to get an apology from this person. They're coming towards you. Um, yeah, here they come, right, with that sword. I'm telling you, they're coming towards you, and this person knows. Now we've got that Ten of Swords. They know that if you say no to them, they're going to look like a big fool. They're going to feel like a fool, 
for missing out on all of this, but their family and friend group will never let them forget about it. Ever. Ever. They're going to be insulting this person and teasing them about it for the rest of their life. So they're coming towards you, right? Um, you're the Empress in the Minor Arcana. You're the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like you kind of hold the power in this now. You have, in one decision, you're going to basically um, set this person's future. They can either have ultimate wish fulfillment with you, or they can go back to their friend group and face the, the music, right? For real. So they're about to come in talking to you. They're doing something they don't want to do. All right. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. A Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yeah, see, they're coming in to talk to you. All right. This is somebody who's, um, it's almost like they're kind of like, I'm picturing someone sitting in their car like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Like, you know what I mean? They're kind of dreading this. Okay, this is a moment of dread before they come towards you. Okay, so this person is about to come towards an earth angel. I feel like that's you. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. Take it how it resonates, right? So they're about to come and talk to you, and you're already over this person. You're very balanced in your emotions. You're not heartbroken over them. You've healed. Yeah, they're going to say, I see this from a whole new perspective now. Yeah, but they're feeling stuck. This is where they, they get really worried. They tell you how they feel. They ask you for another chance. They give you an apology, and then they're like sitting here waiting for your response. And I, I feel like your response is most likely going to be no. Let's see. Yeah, they don't want to let you go. This is someone kind of holding their breath, right? You make this person hold their breath. And for a second, maybe they think that they've got you back, but out comes that sword. That's the same sword there that they stuck in your back before. So I feel like what you do is you speak your truth. You've healed because you pulled out that sword. You healed on your own. But you remember and you remind them. You remind this person that they had a chance with you before. And now you're better. You're doing great in life. You're abundant and you're going to protect all of it. So I feel like you speak the truth and you end up cutting this person out. But you get your justice. You get that apology. Okay? You get that. Yes, you do. And this person may even be acting a little bit smug when they come in. But, yeah, you, um, I feel like you finish this. You do. Yeah, you finish this. You turn this person away. And I feel like you tell them to go back to the people who are tearing them apart because they were, they made a stupid move to begin with. All right. You may tell this person you have other options. You may be dating again. Yeah. And I feel like here's the thing. Um, you just don't look. You This person had you in a mental mind trap at one point. But I feel like you gotten clarity and you cut yourself out of this position. And now you're free from this. I feel like you don't want to feel this Eight of Swords anymore. You don't want to be stuck in a mental mind trap over this person. You're not about to let that happen to yourself again. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could maybe be a Pisces. 
But yeah, I feel like you you quickly tell this person the truth. You remind them of what they put you through. And I feel like you may even say something like, because of all of that, they're not really, they're, they don't deserve to come back in. Yeah, and I feel like you may tell this person, you've got other options. They may even wonder who those other options are. You're not going to tell them anything. You're not, I don't feel like you're going to give them any of your information, nothing. Okay. You quickly tell this person the truth. Yeah, some of you have new love, or that's what you're going to tell this person, or that's what is coming in for you. So you either already have a new love option, um, or that's what's coming in the future. But yes, this is definitely new love coming in. Both of these cards together, you bet it is. So you may, you may tell this person, I already found someone new. You know, I already have new love. It, it took you too long to realize I was the best thing you're ever going to find. But I feel like you end up tell, speaking your truth and stopping this connection. But you end this connection, though, getting your justice. It's time for your justice, collective. And I feel like they have to go home to this group and get their karma and face their karma. Yeah, this is an end to a cycle here with the 10. It's become, um, it's become exhausting. I want to say exhausting just because I feel like half of it is just being bored to tears. There's been no movement. It's been stagnant. You're bored with this. And you're tired of the stagnancy. And it's, I feel like if you don't move forward, it'll become toxic for you. You don't want to stay in that energy, so you're you're ending it here. You're closing this cycle out. This is a death card. Once again, another 10. This is a cycle that's closing out. Okay. Yep, and all you want now is a new life. You want to start your new life. You want to start living again. So, yes, I feel like a big change is about to happen. You're coming out of this feeling where you're feeling orphaned, brokenhearted. There's a lot of darkness around you, right? You're feeling alone, right? Sad. You're coming out of this energy. And you're stepping into this energy where you're receiving blessings. Okay, where your life is looking up. It's starting to change in your favor. Um, and you're getting little blessings, big blessings. Um, this is like feeling lucky these days, maybe. Okay, but you're you, no more of this. You're not going to feel this anymore. Now, I feel like in this new life, you're going to feel blessed. You're going to feel so, so blessed. So, yeah, your life is about to change in a huge, huge way. Okay, from this sad feeling to this, excited for new things. And finally, things go in your way, collective. Amen to that. Okay, so get ready for the new life and the new boo because you have someone new coming in. And congratulations if you already met this person because they're awesome. This is somebody who's awesome. Okay? It should be called an awesome dude card. Um, this or dudette, take it how it resonates with you. But this is somebody with their life together. They've been through a battle. They've learned their lessons. And now they're having a victory in life. Well liked by other people. Possibly in the public eye. Getting encouraged by others, right? Having that victory. Knowing what they want and going for it. This is the kind of person who's coming in for you. If you haven't already met them. So get ready for the new, new. Get ready for the new, new, the new boo, and a whole lot of change. Your life is going to be a night and day difference. Okay? No kidding. 